Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Laura and Mike, who you may know better as Bunny and Fox. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phoenix Point Backer Build 5, as we, once again, resume exploring the apocalypse, already in progress. As usual, this is just an alpha. Phoenix Point has come a long way over the past three years, but it's still got a ways to go before it's ready for launch in December. Now, last time we unlocked our very first diplomatic mission, and we will be checking that out in just a moment. First though, I'd like to get another scan started down here. That should hopefully give us an anchor point so we can finally reach Antarctica. Mindfragger Autopsy. Summary, Key Findings. Genetic Origins, 22% Arthropoid, 3% Human, 75% Unknown. Function, Mind Control. Once a target is acquired, the grappling element, head, detaches and is propelled onto the head of the victim. The precise mechanism of control is unknown. Reproduction. Eggs from hatcheries and Pandoran nests. Mobility. Very fast, but unable to climb or jump high. Take the high ground. Weakness. Easy to kill. Very vulnerable to explosives. Once attached, dispatch with a single-shot weapon in order to minimize damage to the victim. Well, nothing we didn't already know, but still good to have uh, another project under our belt. Okay, scan deployed. Let's go hit that mission. Mist Sentinel. The specimen has proven to be harmless on its own. However, it is capable of producing and releasing the mutagenic mist that is covering the world, though only in small quantities. It is speculated that mist sentinels have no combat significance, but that they are strategic attempts at expediting mist proliferation across the globe. Based on current simulation models, at their present rate of dispersal, the sentinels are likely to produce enough mist to cover the entire landmass of the globe within 47 months. Additional findings. Mist sentinels are able to detect the presence of living and mechanical entities within six meters. The exact mechanism of detection remains unknown. New research. Pandora virus. Now that sounds promising. Pandora virus. We have isolated a sample of the Pandora virus and prepared it for analysis. This virus is widely considered to be responsible for the mutations and radical ecosystem changes that have led to the near collapse of civilization. Yeah, we definitely need to fast track that one. The Second Initiation Mission Briefing Instead of understanding that survival now depends on adaptation and cooperation, these raiders have kept up the ways of the old world, greed and conflict. They've been attacking havens, hoarding stolen supplies, and causing problems for everyone with their unrelenting selfishness. The Exalted has decided that this must stop. Okay, it sounds a lot more reasonable when you put it that way. Yeah, let's do this. Ah, right, we've still got some level ups to take care of, too. You guys already know how this stuff works, so I'll try to make it quick. Obviously, we'll grab weak spot for Mark. That strips the armor off any body party cripples. 
And for the most part, the rest of this should be pretty straightforward. Ooh, we'll definitely grab that accuracy boost. Yeah, Expert Packer could be useful. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Okay, looks like we're on a standard scavenging map. Based on our relative starting position, they must be in one of these buildings over here. They don't know we're here yet, so let's just focus on moving up for now. We do need to remember, though, we're up against humans this time. That means they're better armed and armored than our usual opponents. Ready. Oh, target spotted. Looks like we've got two assaults. Hmm. Nothing to worry about as far as weapons go, but... These guys are sporting full armor mutations. That seems a little unusual for random raiders. Regardless, it is going to make it more difficult to take them down. Our shotguns and assault rifles will barely scratch these guys. We'll have to rely on Bunny and the snipers to do it for us. I'll be there. Nice. They haven't noticed us just yet, so... Let's not push our luck. Oh, well, they know we're here now. And they've got snipers. That's a problem. Let's have a look at these guys. Oof. Only level two, but they've got full sets of new Jericho sniper gear. Okay, first thing we need to do is neutralize those snipers. They're dangerous, but they can't use a sniper rifle with just one arm. We should be able to pick them off pretty easily. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Didn't even realize that Chris only has one shot left. Well, let's make it count. Ooh! 
Nice. That guy's still dangerous, but he's a lot less dangerous than he would be with that sniper rifle. Let's see if we can have Mark pick off the other two. Let's have a look. That's one. Got you. And that's two. All right, let's bring up the assault. Actually, let's see if we can neutralize those enemy assaults too. Let's do this. Minimal damage, but it did take out one of their assault rifles. I would like to capture that gear if possible, but I'm a little more concerned about avoiding damage right now. We'll go for a leg shot. I'd like to keep that rifle. No, he probably doesn't. Let's go. We need Chris to go loot those bodies. Not a problem. Looks like they're definitely on the defensive there. Take this. Oh, hey, you actually hit me. Got you. Okay, so Yumi took a little damage there, but that's fine. I think we've got this. Hate to do it, but let's knock out those assault rifles. At this point, we just have the assaults to deal with, and only one of them still has a gun. Though the other two do still have grenades, so we do need to be careful here. 
I'm listening. On my way. All right, Chris. Make a run for those bodies. Now, Mark needs to cripple the last guy with a rifle. Success. Very nice. Okay, at this point, we really just have to worry about those grenades. Moving. Oof. <laughs> yeah, this might take a while. Let's go. grenades, but they're coming right at us. Alright, these guys might be going for melee attacks. Yes. Let's take them out. Let's see if we can disable that regen. Actually, that should have stripped the armor off his torso. Let's see if we can finish him off with an assault rifle. Double time. Hmm, strange. He's definitely still got armor. See what else we can do here. On it. Shake it, baby. Oh, hey, stun lances. Okay, so that's why they were charging towards us. Well, Chris is back in action, so we should be able to make short work of these guys. Double time. Time for the push. Nice. <laughs> Gotta love it when they line up like that. Let's go. And it's pretty much over. Last two guys are panicking, so we can finish them off at our leisure. Got 
without you. Double time. Target confirmation. Threat eliminated. And we are done. Not bad. That could have definitely gone a whole lot worse. Let's see what the disciples have to say. Message from Keeper of the Threshold to Phoenix Project. You have done well. The Exalted Sensor thanks, and the Synod of Yearning will speak the names of your operatives at morning prayer. Do not feel ashamed of having killed your fellow humans, although you may pity them. For in clinging to the old, they doom the future. The Voiceless Hierophant shall seek you out when the time is right. Okay, that bumps us up to the next stage of relations with the Disciples of Anu. Yeah, they're now supportive of the Phoenix Project. Sadly, that doesn't mean they're ready to share tech with us just yet, but it does mean they've shared the location of all of their havens across the Geoscape. Wow, they've basically taken over Africa. You'll also see they've uh, notified us of other mist patches. Sadly, that one's on the other side of the globe, so we're likely to lose a few havens before we can actually get to it. Anyway, let's get another scan set up. Start moving into North America. Scratch that. <laughs> Looks like Satagu needs our help. Let's get that scan set up first. Hmm. Another Sinedrion Haven. Oh, let's check our ammo. Oh, very nice. Okay, yeah, that should keep us in business for a while longer. We do need to boost our relations with New Jericho, though. It'll be a lot easier once we can actually make that ammo. All right, let's do this. Well, looks like they don't really need us, but that's fine. We can always use the rep. Okay, looks like we're back on the scrapyard again, though the layout has changed slightly. And we're still fighting the same nest, so we should be up against light crabman gunners. Let's have a look. Ready. Awaiting instructions. Mm -hmm. Three in sight. Yep, that is light crabman gunners. Mm 
All right, let's get our guys set up and start picking them off. I'll try to make this quick. Relocating. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it appears that Chris has spawned in the middle of a junk pile. Let's get our guys clear before we try shooting our way out. Got you covered. Yeah, he's in there pretty good. Um that's fine. He can cool his heels for now. I'm here. We'll have someone else break him out if we really need him. Nice shot, Mark. Take these guys out. Time for the push. Target comfort. <laughs> okay. Aiming. Shot wide. That's fine, Yumi. We've got you covered. Aiming. Oh, and uh, just to clarify, those red containers do not explode just yet. I'm sure they will in the launch version, though. There's one more. Oh, make that two. Okay, we'll go for the one in elevation.
Let's go. Hmm. Can't get good line of sight here. And we've got reinforcements. Guess we've got more killing to do. Got it. I'm going. Amy. Let's go. Okay, we've got more around here somewhere. We'd better check that other corner. I will say this is definitely more resistance than I would have expected from such a low threat mission. I think the game is actually starting to escalate the threat levels. Ah, there we go. Here. All right, let's wrap this up. Double time. Okay. Ooh, a skin peeler. That's our first disciple melee weapon. Alright, the last one has to be near this reinforcement spot. And there he is. I'm going. Okay, let's have Valen pull back a little. Time for the push. Got you covered. instructions Roger on it There we go. Took a little longer than expected, but all things considered, definitely worth it.
Once again, the reward is pretty modest, but I am actually pretty keen on finding someone who can use that skin peeler. We'll have to see which of our troops are actually proficient with melee weapons. All right, folks, you know the drill. We're past the 30 minute mark, so I think we've reached a pretty good stopping point for now. We'll pick up here next time as we continue building our relations with the Disciples of Anu and uh, hopefully finally push our exploration out of South America. See you then. And remember, although I do love playing Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord server, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, the development roadmap, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on Fig. You can also get your hands on a copy of Backer Build 5 for yourself by pre-ordering the game over on the official Snapshot Games web store. As always, links are in the description.